Hey class, it's Mr. M with yet another similar triangle real-world application problem. Uh, this one well suited for any uh, stage performers. I uh, apologize for my terrible handwriting here. The app that I'm using for this does not allow you to type in text just yet, so I have to write these by hand. But I'll read them to you. A spotlight above the stage hits Alice as she sings her solo six feet away. Her shadow is two feet long. Alice is five foot three inches. How high above the stage is the light? So, dealing with this problem, you want to draw a, a sketch to help you relate the corresponding part. So, pause the video if you need to, draw a little sketch, and hopefully it looks a little bit something like mine. Uh, that way you can model this problem correctly. All right, perhaps you paused it. We can take a look at a sketch now of what this might look like. Uh, here we have our stage. We have our spotlight here. I can draw a better spotlight than that. There we go. And it's hanging above the stage. And of course our question is how high above the stage is it? So that's our mark there. And we know we have Alice who's standing here singing her heart out and the light is hitting her. Ouch. And it creates a shadow, and that shadow is two feet long. So our picture may not be to scale, but it's simply for us to see the relationship, so don't worry too much about the scale. We also know that uh, Alice is singing this performance as she is six feet away from the the bulb of the spotlight. So that distance there is six feet. If she were six feet further to her right, uh, depending on her perspective here, uh, she'd be right underneath the lamp, but she is six feet away. We also know that Alice is five feet three inches. So five feet three inches. A lot of people make the mistake of assuming that that is going to be equal to 5.3 feet. Uh, if we use the metric system, then something like that would be possible, but it's not. Three inches represents a quarter of a foot, because there are 12 inches in a foot. So 5.3 inches is actually 5.25 feet. And if you're not sure about that, you can watch one of the old videos, and it'll show you exactly how that calculation is made. So our friend Alice here is 5.25 feet uh, in, in height. And once again, for problems like these, it's safe to assume that you're measuring height as a direct line to the ground. And you should notice that similar triangles are going to be uh, in play here. And if not, it may help you once you have your model drawn. Uh, and it does, it does help for these problems to draw a model, even uh, if they're not as quite as detailed as this one. Just something to let you visualize. But if it's not clear to you how triangles are involved, then after you've drawn your model, go ahead and, and draw sort of a simplified version of it. So we have this is x, that's what we're looking for. We have this distance is 6, this distance is 2, and this is 5.25. And we also know that you measure heights at a 90 degree angle to the ground, so those are the same. So really, right, we're dealing with this yellow colored picture here, of course in a, in a real world situation. Uh, now you should notice there are two triangles here, and both of those triangles share this angle here at the tip. And what might make that even more clear for you, especially if you struggle with these problems, is to literally draw both of those triangles separately. So you have one big huge wedge shape or ramp shape, and you have a little baby version tucked into it. And what do we know about these two shapes? Well, we know that they both have right angles. And they both literally share this angle right here. It's the exact same corner for both of them. One is, it appears, a smaller version than the other. We haven't established that yet, though. But now we are ready to establish that, because you have a 90 that matches with the 90. You have these two angles that match, which is angle-angle similarity. So these triangles are indeed similar. And because of that fact, we can now make some proportions. So what do we know about the small triangle? Because we have a lot of information uh, about that. We know that the bottom is 2, and we know that the altitude 
is 5.25. Right, that's just coming from these figures right here. In the bigger triangle, we don't know the height. That's what we're looking for. That's the x. But we do know the base of the entire triangle. And it is a very common mistake to people, for people to call 2 uh, and 6 to be matching parts of similar triangles, and that's a mistake. 2 is the base of the small triangle. Let me outline it here for you in a color you can see. 2 is the base of the small triangle. And 8 is the base of the large triangle. It's this distance here that's 8. So 2 matches with 8. So now you have your similar triangles by angle angle. You have some matching parts here that you can create a scale factor with. And from there you're good to go. So, let me try to cram this in here. Uh, two's matching partner in the bigger shape is 8. So the scale factor there from large to small is 8 to 2, which is 4. Let me pick a brighter shade of blue. 8 to 2, which is 4. So this triangle right here is, uh, the bigger one is 4 times bigger uh, in length than this triangle here. So, now that we know the scale factor is 4, let me not circle that, it's not the answer. Uh, nothing wrong with circling it, but it's not the answer. It's, that's 4 uh, is the scale factor. So, take your vertical distance, 5.25, and multiply it by the scale factor. And 5.25 times 4, well, 4 times 5 is 20, and 4 times a quarter is 1. So the answer would be 21 for x. So if x is equal to 21 and x represents the height, the light is the spotlight is 21 feet off the ground. And there we have it.